Hey everybody, I'm Hannah Smith back with some more Merle Mormon tutorials. I'm going to try a series of a couple of shorter tutorials to make it a little bit easier for you guys to watch. I tend to be very long-winded and wordy, so we'll see how well that goes. But um, real quick, if you're wondering why in the world I'm still here doing tutorials because you thought I left and all this, I did leave Merle Mormon. I am not there anymore. Um, I'll be helping out every once in a while when they need somebody to fill in. Um, but I am doing real estate full-time. However, I will continue doing the tutorials so you get to see me for a long time to come. And whenever I help out in the store, I'll try to let you guys know because I'd like to see and catch up with as many of you as possible. So real quick, starting with their free gift. Merle Mormon launched their spring line a couple of days early. It's supposed to be out March 1st, but they've already in the Rock Hill store. They've put out the new free gift and the entire color collection already. So it's ready for you to shop. The free gift is amazing. It's a five piece gift set. Normally there are like four pieces. So it's an extra, extra good gift in a super cute little springy box. So just what you need to brighten your really dreary, rainy, cold weather that we've been having lately. I don't, I don't know what's up with this weather, but you will get energizing concentrate. That is one of the top selling products. Definitely top selling serum. Brilliant C, Moisturizer, and Cleanser. Those are two of my personal favorites. There is the Gumdrop Lip Polish. That's also a bestseller. And then the Peel Off Charcoal Mask. That's great for deep cleansing your pores and just pulling out any impurities. So that is the free gift going on right now. See the store for details on that and to get yours while supplies last. Those are limited. This whole collection is actually limited. So if you see something you love, Hurry into the store. Like I said, they've already got it out on counters right now. So you can go ahead and shop it. Um, and when it sells out, it's gone forever. So it's very sad, but get it while it lasts. The spring collection comes in these really fun magnetic cases. So it's like this abstract art on the front, which I love. There's three of them. There's a cheek palette, and then there are two separate eye palettes. They magnetize so you can organize your makeup drawer because we're all into spring cleaning and organizing lately trying to be at least um the cheek palette i'll open that up and show it to you it's got two really fun shades there's one that's a little bit like a bronzer like a warmer blush and then there's a really fun pop of color kind of a rose color comes with a little brush as always i recommend investing in merle norman's professional brushes they include these just in case you need it, but the professional ones are much better. And there is a nice full length mirror. This tab pulls off. So that is the cheek palette. And then the eye palette, so you've got two really neutral ones to choose from. This one is the warmer tones. It is the eye color quad in shine. In shine. And then the one I'm gonna be demonstrating today is this one. This one is the eye color quad in rise. So that one's a little bit pinker tones, a little bit more neutral and cool. Um, and then there are three lipsticks as a part of this line. So these are the plush lipsticks that have been an absolute bestseller. Everyone's loved these. Pretty much all we show anymore. Um, two new shades and one shade that they are promoting to go with this line. So Quirky is the current shade. Um, Peppy and Perky are the brand new ones. So there's like a warmer color and then there is a cooler bright pink. So I'll be showing those as well. So to start off this one, I'm gonna do some eyeshadow and then in the next tutorial, I'll do some cheeks and lips. So I've already got my eyes lined with my favorite. The soft touch eye pencils are just my absolute favorite. I am wearing Hazy. It's almost like a warm, like a warm gray. So that's hazy. I'll compare it to black just so you can see the difference. So this is blackout. I love blackout, but it's a little bit harsh for these soft neutral spring colors. Hazy is a, a lot better choice for this collection. These come in tons and tons of shades. There's browns, there's grays, plum, everything you could want. But hazy is a good natural, neutral color. So I'm going to start off with, again, I'm showing the eye color quad and rise. Grab my brush and then I can show you guys. So I'm demonstrating from this tester unit. So we'll 
try not to spill all the colors as I show you. I'm gonna put on First Light, that's the first color. It's like a really soft matte pink. I'm gonna use that as my highlighter shade. I love the I8 brushes, actually they're the Face 8 brushes. It's a concealer brush with this nice blunt head. It's perfect for blending. So I use those for everything, for concealer, for eyeshadow, everything. So I'm just gonna dab that in that light color, first light, and then I'm gonna sweep it along my brow bone and kind of blend it into the inner corner as well. And as always, I already put on my eyeshadow primer. I love that stuff. And I didn't bring any in here with me to show you, but just ask for eyeshadow primer, put it on after your eye cream. And it'll keep your colors in place and keep them from creasing and just kind of fading away throughout the day. Okay, so now we've got first light. I'm going to move on to this grayish tone. It's called Shady. It's that one right there. I'm gonna use this eyes number four brush. It's like a little bit of an angle right there. I'm going to put this over top of my hazy. So I already lined my eyes with that little kitten eye, which I love, and I put just a little bit underneath there. All of that is hazy. So I'm gonna take shady, and I'm just gonna blend it on top of the hazy. It'll kind of smoke out the color, and it'll keep like a placeholder so that my light shadows don't cover it up. So this is gonna make it look a little bit thicker, but it's okay because it's a nice soft neutral color. So just start from the outside corner because that's where you want your color the darkest and the most intense. And then we're just gonna feather it in towards the inside corner of the eye. And I'm going to blend it, I promise. Take a little bit more and I'm gonna sweep it underneath my eyelash line. You wanna stop it about where your eyelashes stop. So they go from like here to here. I'm not gonna put it all the way in the inner corner because we want to leave that light and bright. I'll get a little closer, get real close. Not that you wanted to see my face quite that close, but just so you can see what we did. So, looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it, I promise. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take another one of these Face 8 brushes, and I'm going to dab it in Canyon, that warm brown there. And then I'm gonna blend that into my crease. So mostly on the outer crease. I'm gonna soften it with some lighter colors. Just go ahead and get plenty of product on there. And kind of bring it down to meet the shady that we put over top of our eyeliner. I know what you're thinking. How's she gonna make this turn out? It looks a little crazy right now. So before I blend, it looks like a two-year-old did it, but blending is key. We've talked about that before. The next thing I'm gonna do to blend is use Sunlit right there. It's like a little bit of a slightly shimmery pink. It's kind of hard for you to tell in this light. That's a pretty accurate look at it. Um, it's a little bit darker than the first color that we used, and it has that just a nice amount of shimmer. No glitter, just a little shimmer. So I'm gonna blend this between Canyon and First Light. So in between my highlighter and my crease color, just to kind of feather that out. And pinks are so fun this time of year. Everybody's doing kind of these mauve tones in the winter, but the pinks are really fun for spring just to brighten up your look. And I'm gonna take a little bit more and put it just in the inside of my eyelid. And then as a finishing touch, I typically like to come back with the very first color that I used, our highlighter shade. I'll show you that one more time. It's the first light one. And just reinforce that brow bone. 
just to make sure it stays light and bright. Because that'll make your eyes look open and makes them look a lot larger. And then if you have dark circles like I do, kind of in this area, you can put a little bit over top of that. You wanna do your concealer first, and then this just keeps it light and bright, gives you a little extra pop. And I'll get a little closer so you can see that. So it transitions nicely from like a warm brown to that soft, like a rose petal pink. And that's it for eyes. So it's just a very simple, bright, flirty spring look. That's what I love about this line. Everybody is just sick and tired of the cold, dreary weather. And this line gives you that nice brightness that we're all craving. So that's it for eyes. I'm going to do a couple more tutorials on the other looks.